Verbal. Oh, nice. The Harris campaign seems to be imploding. And the more interviews she does, the more and more people are realizing that, what are we doing here? Who chose Harris to run for president? This is crazy. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Jesse Waters Primetime, who's one of the newscasters that speaks the truth, in my opinion, and talks about all the problems that exist. And that's one way of getting things fixed. Okay? Welcome to Verbal Online. My name is Noel, battling MS, and I'm going to bring you this video from Jesse Primetime. And remember, before you go anywhere, be sure to give this video a like. All right? Shout out to the new subscribers. And here we go. I'll pause it every now and then to give you guys my opinion, but take a look. Kamala's first solo interview on a major news network bombed. Harris came in 13th place on MSNBC. More people, everybody. They, they keep trying to say climate change. The Diddy. All right, I'm going to pause it right there. But. I think the only reason they're running that news is to talk about climate change and how we need to do more to fight the climate when we cannot, you know? We gotta let the climate be and just continue to innovate and continue new technology to protect against it. But none of this EV and all this DEI hire, to me, I'm gonna blame everything on the climate change agenda that the extreme left is putting forward. They're really taking it to another level. But with that said, that was Jesse Waters' prom time for September 26th, last night. Comment down below, let me know what you think. We're gonna move on to another video of Cardi B talking about relationships. Let's go. Verbal or nice. Okay, so I'm gonna run this video on Cardi B. Because Cardi B is having an issue with her husband, right? And I know that she just had her third child with her husband. And every time she has a child with her husband, she has like a temper tantrum. Well, she goes online and starts complaining about how he, she's going to dump him, how she's done with him. That's it. She's not going to deal with him anymore. And then she starts talking bad about him. Um, a few months later, they get back together. So now I'm thinking, you know what? This is just part of her tick. This is like part of who she is. And that's her postpartum depression. Because a lot of men don't know or maybe ignore or forget that when women give birth to children, they go through this postpartum depression and everybody's affected differently. So with Cardi B, what she does is she goes on Instagram and starts talking about how she's done with her man, how she's not putting up with him anymore. And I mean, this is it. She doesn't see any other solution. We're talking about Cardi B, a, mil a multi-millionaire entertainer. And all she got is Instagram and her phone, and she goes on it, and she'll start talking garbage. And you may feel bad for Offset, but I think at this point, Offset understand that this is just who she is. This man, Offset, he has, what, three other children by three different baby mothers? And now has three with Cardi B, so he got six children. So shout out to Offset having all those kids. That's how it is when you got that kind of money, you should be having a lot of kids because he's not a headache to him. The man is a multi-millionaire himself, another entertainer. I like that hoodie Cardi B got. I think it looks nice. But I cannot play the audio. It's not letting me play it because, let me see. Yeah, the audio is not working. So Cardi B complaining about her relationship and how she's going to dump her man, how she's done. And then shortly thereafter, you see her way offset. I think it's a good example for men to learn about relationship, how you need to know where you're at and who you're dealing with. Offset is a guy who could get any girl he wants. And the man is an entertainer, a multi-million dollar entertainer, all right? And has three baby mothers that I think look way better than Cardi B. So he just keep bagging all those baby mothers. It's what they call a what, an alpha male? This particular female likes to complain, likes to complain a lot about offset. And once you understand your wife or your girl, you let that slide. It's not really a problem. He's probably at home laughing, looking at all these videos. Like, whatever, man. She likes to talk. That shows who she is. 
And I don't think she means it because she really doesn't. Because at the end of the day, who is she going to go with if she breaks up with Offset? You know, everybody that's going to try to marry her is for the money. That's it. Like, how can I secure this bag with all the money that Cardi B has? What else? What other reason would they be getting involved with her? Because she does come off as a maniac. And she's saying it right there. Like, who's going to get with me? You know? It got to be somebody that got more money than her. Has more entertainment value or clout than her. And right now, Offset is that guy. Anybody else, your child's going to be dating Offset's baby mother. So, yeah, she could find a man, but that man just got to be slick about it and figure out how to extract that money from her. Because otherwise, this woman just likes to rant on Instagram. That's another thing. If you date her, you probably gonna once she breaks up with you, you probably gonna get hit with one of the Instagram live videos where she talks crap about you, and no man wants that, except for Offset, because Offset know who he dealing with. It's funny because Offset on the comment section he wrote while she was recording this, he wrote, "You slept with somebody else with the baby inside," like she was pregnant. Right, and cheated on him while being pregnant. So I can't believe he wrote that. And then Cardi B replied saying, "And I did. I I don't care. Yes, I did. So what? I think we live in an era where all these women think they're men, and they think they could do this. That they could just sleep with everybody, and this like it doesn't hurt their reputation or who they are." Something that like men get away with having a lot of baby mothers and sleeping around. But now women like Cardi B wants to do the same. If men could do it, I could do it, right? And that's just destroying the fabric of society. Sad that a lot of women feel this way and following her gospel or what she's saying to do with that, what we should do. You know, I invited my brother on this live to talk about it because I think every man that hears her complaining has their own opinion about this. Just like academics right there is talking about this whole situation and how officers should move forward with this situation. So in my opinion, I think officer knows what he's doing. He knows who he got. She wants to sleep around, hey, more power to her. He still gets to sleep around with her because he's our baby father. So he comes down to see his kids all the time and sees her, you know? So he always gonna have her on his side. And in terms of money, she doesn't need to sue him for money. She rich, he's rich. And they're both two dirty entertainers. And that's it, they preach pretty much the same ideas. So, shout out to Offset, securing the bag or securing the girls. Cause I'm pretty sure he gets hit up with, that's another thing, when you're in a relationship, like other girls wanna get with you. That's insane. Like you can't get them off of you. Right? Like if you're single and you don't have a girl, good luck finding one. Ain't nobody want to deal with you. But when you're a guy that has baby mothers and girls all over the place, it sort of brings this idea into women like, hmm, I wonder what he got and why women fall in love with him. So now more girl wants to date you just based on the fact that you're dating. So Cardi B doing this is just bringing up offset reputation. An ability to get more girls. Cardi B, how old is Cardi B? She got to be at least 30 by now. Because she started off her career like around 20. So, she still look cute, but you got to be, you got to be toxic to get with her. Or you got to be on some more, you know what? I don't care about life anymore either. Let me give her everything and anything she wants. I mean, think about it. Who's a famous person that could go out with her? Who is an entertainer at that level? Talking about being real, keeping it real. Because I know I think it, that's another thing about Cardi. She's not kind of dumb when she talks about she's a real, she's a real bitch, is what she says. She keeps it real. And she she said that she's not going to sleep with all his ops because his ops is different. Like when you're a guy. And you got ops, they want you dead. They want to take it to that next level, killing you. And Cardi says, I don't want you to die because my kids love you. They just love you. 
I mean, it's what she says. So it's funny that she says that. Let me see, the audio is not working. Let me pause it. So she said, I'm not entertaining your ops to be on my DM. Because I'm pretty sure that's another thing. That guys like to get revenge from their opponent by the ops by sleeping with their girl so they could say, hey, I slept with your girl, ha ha. And like make her make her do feel bad. But at the end of the day, that's not a win. I guess in certain circles it is. So in the circles of upsets and a lot of other people at the bottom, sleeping with your girl is a problem. So being a woman is a tough situation. Now, let me see if I can fix the audio so I could play the audio for you guys. She talks crazy. God bless Cardi B. I don't think the audio is going to work. Something about my stream yard. If you can hear that. If you can hear what I'm saying or the audio on this, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I may have to reset my stream here in order to get some audio. Oh, let me see something. No, I, I don't hear it. All right, I'm gonna have to restart this whole stream. So like that, I could comment on what she's saying. And you guys can hear what she's saying. But again, this is verbal on life. You got to be verbal about things that are happening. My name is Noel, battling a mess. I could still move and talk. I made it down to my basement. You know how hard it is to walk down the stairs when you're battling and wrestling a mess? Not easy. So the fact that I made it out here, let's celebrate and let's keep moving forward. Oh, another topic that I got to talk about is Eric Adams, the first mayor in history to be subpoenaed by the Fed, and the subpoena looks scary, but it looks like they got a case and he might just get arrested. That's insane. First mayor to get arrested, so I wanna do a report on that and on Cardi B. So those two ideas, I gotta talk about it, all right? We gotta put our thoughts and ideas out there and we gotta be verbal on life in order to make things work, okay? So remember to be verbal on life, comment below, and if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up so we can spread the word to more and more people. Try to develop this channel. It ain't easy, but with your help, we can make it happen. Peace. Verbal. Earn life. <laughs> um.